You're alive. We're alive. You're alive. Oh, you've gone again. What happened then? Hello, Sarah. Where are you gone? <laughs> Oh, I don't bloody know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. Like, are we actually live now? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it, it is live. It seems to be. It's not going to. What, what, what's happening when we speak? There's a delay on the Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just. Got, I keep like jumping but on. At that time, page. it just said stream was over. Like you cancelled it. It just came oh. up. Like well, it's I, stream is finished. You're done. I, I was still over. here. I was still <laughs> here. Oh, hold on, somewhere. Morning, Glenn. Hope you're well, mate. Right, I'm just, um, ah, yes, it does work. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so basically the, um, the, the Facebook live stream is about <coughs> two minutes behind us. So right. what we'll do, we'll do our thing, and then um, hopefully if any questions come through, um, we can um, go back to them. Go back to them. And I'm just having a quick look as to why I'm having chat. And, oh, okay, famous. So, Sarah Higgs, Michael Campbell. Woo! <laughs> so glad um, that you're, 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 you, you know, you've got some time this morning to spend some time with us. Um, I know you've only got pretty much eighteen and a half minutes because you are going to rush off to a network meeting. So, um, just want to explain to the people watching. Yeah, so Sarah um, won the competition. I, I ran a competition last year in November. And all you had to do was comment and um, Sarah, Sarah won. Sarah won! Uh, Winner. What done, um, the competition was done um, by a, a, um, an official method um, called Comment Picker. <laughs> One person <laughs> takes all these random names and spins them around. And Sarah's name came out. Now, I, I've got to be honest, Sarah, when your name came out first, I did think, hmm, she's already a successful entrepreneur. She does not need my help. So I did it again. And your name came out again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, you, you have no choice. It seems to have frozen on Facebook for some strange reason, but uh, we won't worry about that. Um, okay, so um, 18 and a half minutes. Uh, we've probably got 17 and a half now. Let's, let's crack on. So, Sarah, please tell us, what do you do for your business? For my business? So... I work in that industry that everybody loves called network marketing, um, but they don't love it. Loads of people hate it because they have no idea really what it's about and how it's a viable business. Mm -hmm. um, so I work with a company called Osborne Children's Books. We sell books um, all the way from birth <laughs> right up to 16, unsurprisingly. Yeah. Um, and I've been doing that now for five and a bit years. Wow. Um, so yeah, it's one of those that I wasn't really looking for it, but really it just fell into place and it's been an absolute incredible business for me. Um, it really has. It isn't a little hobby that people think these things are. It isn't something that just takes up my time and eats my money. For me, it's been an absolute game changer in terms of earnings, in terms of growth, in terms of what it's, it's given me and my family. Um, so yeah, it's something I'm very proud of and love, and love doing. Brilliant. And how did um, how did Osborne Books find you or how did you find them? So interestingly, I wasn't looking for a new opportunity at the time. I'd actually closed down um, a different business a couple of months before that. That had taken, although it was profitable, it had taken it in a direction that I wasn't really enjoying or wanting to do. And I actually uh -huh. got to a point where it's like, actually, life's about enjoying yourself. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't enjoying that anymore. So I wanted a change and to, to reevaluate. Um, and then they just sort of fed into my lap. I love books. My children love books. They could all read before they went to school. Oh, um, good morning, you mummy. And so, you know, it, I, I sort of joined just to be able to fill the house with lovely books. Um, and then it just sort of escalated from there as I saw the potential with it. Uh -huh. um, I sort of grew into it. Oh, brilliant. Because, um, I mean, my next question was going to be what inspired you to start the business. But I think you pretty much now that. But I suppose running this business, running it from home, there's a lot of freedom there for you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm not a very good employee. 
Like, I, I have my own big ideas and I like to do things my own way. So trying to conform to other people rather than running my own business yeah. doesn't really suit me very well. Oh. Having the creative freedom to do what I want and when I want it. So you're, what, 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 what you're saying is you're, you're a maverick. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I just... Mm. I, I just can't be controlled. <laughs> what, what, why do I believe that? <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarah, tell tell us about some of the, the uh, challenges that you faced um, over the five years of running your business, and how so, you've over, and how you've overcome them. So I think challenges are going to be pretty much the same as most people get in business. To be honest, it do, you know I'm in one industry, but it doesn't mean it works any different to another business. I think the biggest challenges have been changes. So you have systems in place and you have like your marketing and your sales and your things that work. So and I use my hands a lot, sorry. Um, so for me, back in 2016, Facebook adverts were huge. Yes. Like literally we built the entire business off the back of it. Yeah. And then in 2017, 2018, they just completely stopped working. Oh. So the way we use them just stopped and that yeah. caused um things had to change and i think one of the biggest failures people have in business is they're not willing to adapt to change whether that's changing environment climate you know their systems their staff uh people get stuck in a way and they try and try and try and just keep going down that same funnel rather than expanding their thinking and go okay this has worked in the past but it's not doing so well now what can we do alongside it or in place of it to try try something else? Um, yeah, yeah. And I think that's key. We all, when we first grow our businesses, we try everything. Yes. You know, because we've got that passion and that desire, yeah. and we want to make it work. So we go cold calling, we knock on doors, we tell everyone, we try anything, and then we find something that works. Yeah. And we get stuck. Like we've got a system. <laughs> this works. This makes me money. This works. It makes yeah. me money, and then we forget about everything else. Uh -huh. um, so I think that's probably my biggest challenge is when when we've needed to change, when the systems have stopped working. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, you know, it's also people. I'm very much a people person. So you get some really good people and then they move on with different parts of their life as well. So yeah, having to, yeah. to let go of people and move on and find... You don't have different. to let them go, you know. You can stay in touch. No, no, I, do, I absolutely stay in touch with all of them. <laughs> but in terms of, like, feeding my business and my income, because I also need to eat, Nigel. Of course. <laughs> of course of I do course. need to, yeah. to bring other people in. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's probably the biggest challenges. But, there's, you know, there's all the day-to-day -day stuff, isn't there? There's, there's things that, you know, life gets busy, trying to fit around. You know, I've got four children, two ponies, um, a team of 700 people, you know, networking groups. So trying to balance all of it and fit it all in, yeah, is um, <laughs> um, and you're still happy and smiling, and you've got all your hair, all your teeth. I mean, <laughs> tell us your secret for God's sake. When I started well, running you know, a four red team, I'm about I, to get to a networking group and do a whole foresight on how I get everything done. So you know, I, maybe <laughs> before I started networking, I had a full afro. You can I bet see you now, I'm funny. I'm follically challenged now. Of, uh, of networking. So, um, what advice would you give somebody who wanted to start um, their own business today? What was what's the number one bit of advice you'd give somebody? Is just go for it. Be the first thing. Don't if you've got an idea and that's where you feel deep down you should be doing. Don't put it off. Just go for it. Mm -hmm. um, but also know your purpose and why you're doing it, and know the bigger picture. Because if you don't, you're not going to survive those tough times when it gets hard work and you don't want to get out of the bed in the morning, if you can't realise what it is that's driving you and what you're working for, you've just got no hope. And I watch people fail in business over and over and over again because they get to the point where they're making excuses because they don't want to do it and they forgot the very purpose of having that financial freedom, of having that flexibility for filling a, a need because they want to help people. Whatever it is that makes people want to start a business, yeah. if you lose track of it, you're not going to get it. So really, really be clear in why you're getting up because you're going to have to make sacrifices. To make a business work, yeah. you're going to have to get up early. You're going to have to say no to going out with friends sometimes because you've got a business meeting. Yeah. You're going to have to, you know, put your business ahead of your kids' play at some point or whatever it is. Yeah. There's going to be some tough decisions. And if you're not linked to the bigger picture of why that is, so if I miss my kids' assembly or miss the kids' play, I know it's because I'm paying for their ponies or I'm paying for that big holiday we're going on next year or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working, yeah. I, you know, so actually I'm self-employed, so I don't have to miss many of them, but occasionally I will. 
But I suppose when you're making a big decision, um, it, it, I suppose if you, like you say, if your eye is on the prize, yeah, then you will always generally make the best decision for yeah. to get get closer to that prize, won't you? So. Yeah. Absolutely, and if and if you're not, you're just going to get distracted and and do something else. But okay. you know, um, is there anything that you need right now? Is there anything that the group can help you with? I mean, I think you're amazing, but oh. you know, are, is there any areas that you think oh, I could do a bit of help on that, or oh, I want to talk to somebody about that? So, what do I need help with? Um, it's a tricky one. So for me at the moment, I rely heavily on Facebook. Yeah. So I need to expand into Instagram yeah. a bit more and just start opening up those other channels a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So I guess any advice on on those would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what? I'm always learning though. So I'm I'm always looking at how I can learn from other people. So if someone's got something that they're finding really work, works really well, then I'd love yeah. to know about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I work mostly online. That suits me best um, yeah. rather than going out to places. Uh, you, know, you know me. I love going out to places because I love people. Oh, you're, you're out party animal. You are. You're out party. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, because life is so busy, actually doing most of my stuff online fits around what we do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm always open for ideas yeah. and things from anyone. If anyone's got anything that they think would help, that's fantastic. So do you hear that, guys? If there's any areas that you feel you can help Sarah, and Sarah's looking to kind of expand her reach across some of the other social media platforms. Yeah. So if anybody wants to kind of connect with Sarah, um, and because she's going to tell us her details in a minute, um, please mm. do. You know, we are all here to help and support each other. You know, no one person has all the answers. But most certainly, if we if we think um, as, a, as a collaboration, then we can all move forward. But Sarah, just to wrap things up, where can people find you? How can they get hold of you? How can they find out more information about Osborne Books? Tell so us, girl. best place is my Facebook page. Um, which, which is, which is? Sarah's Bookshop. Sarah, Sarah's Bookshop. Um, yeah. If I can put that somewhere. Hold on one minute. Um, or, direct, or you can message me directly actually just click on my name and send me a facebook message a friend friend request anything like that um that's probably the easiest way to get hold of me in the quickest because emails and things tend to get lost going through my website can be emails are a joke at the moment um i mean literally i think one in <coughs> five emails that are kind of being read i mean i get probably 130 a day and it's like yeah. most of them i actually delete um but there's so many coming through but you hear that guy so sarah's bookshop sarah higgs uh you know contact her direct if you're looking to get into network marketing and you don't want to go down the kind of nutrition route and all the other kind of <laughs> health fads and you want a real tangible product oh, a book, don't get real, me wrong don't get real, me wrong all those nutrition ones and things are absolutely amazing right, fine, they're fine. Yeah. i'm just saying as an alternative a real yeah. tangible product which obviously because you can you can touch it you can hold what? it you can see the benefit beautiful, from it. beautiful, beautiful books. books then um definitely get in touch with sarah she's you know running a very successful operation there I know how successful it is because she's added me to her group recently and I'm still getting messages from people saying, hello. <laughs> so um, so it's all good. And um, that's great. Well, Sarah, thank you very much for your time today. I know you're you've, got to, you've got to shoot off now to um, 4N Dunchurch or is it 4N Rugby? It's Rugby. It used to be Dunchurch, now it's Rugby. Same venue, different name. I was going to say, it used to be Dunchurch, now it's Rugby, but it's in the same venue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, honey, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to getting you back on here Excellent. in a couple of months' time to find out how your journey's going. But thank you, Sarah. Lovely, look forward to it. Thank you, you so much. Take care. See you soon. Have a bye wonderful bye. day, darling. Bye. Bye. bye.